The Vatican is calling for, once again, more dialogue with so-called Catholic politicians who support abortion. Church Milton's Paul Morano reports on the strange dynamic between the U.S. bishops, the Vatican, and Catholic politicians who support our culture of death. It's not a position that I've found anywhere else, including from the Holy Father who gives me communion. As more U.S. bishops support Canon 915, a church law that directs clergy to deny communion to those who persist in grave and public sin, L.A.'s Archbishop Jose Gomez, head of the U.S. Bishops' Conference, sent a letter in March to the Vatican. The first and most important thing is that we are our children of God. Gomez explained the bishops' plan to draft a document in June responding to the widespread problem with a united front. Friday's response came from Cardinal Luis Ladaria, head of the Vatican Doctrinal Office, reportedly warning Gomez to slow down and engage in more dialogue. Luis Ladaria Ferrer, who, like Francis, is a Jesuit and speaks Spanish. This problem of U.S. Catholic politicians supporting abortion has been an issue for decades, since the likes of Ted Kennedy and Mario Cuomo introducing the fallacious, personally opposed but arguments. Catholic California attorney Charles LaMarjorie grasps the spiritual depths of this problem. They are you know, eating and drinking their own condemnation and their eternal soul is an imperil. I'm not really sure that that is registering with them. Pope Benedict, when asked by a reporter in 2007, said he backed Mexican bishops who refused communion to pro-abortion politicians. Three years prior, then Cardinal Ratzinger, as head of the Vatican's doctrinal office, wrote a memo to U.S. bishops saying they must deny Holy Communion to those who refuse to repent of their cooperation with evil. I really don't know why the bishops aren't doing their job, but I certainly applaud Archbishop Corleone and others who have spoken up, like Archbishop uh, Chaput, uh, Bishop uh, Nauman, uh, Bishop uh, Olmsted. Patrick Leahy, Nancy Pelosi, John Kerry, Joe Biden, and many other prominent pro-abortion Catholics have been left largely unchecked by their bishops. Catholic scholar and writer Christopher Mannion told Church Militant he's skeptical about the bishop's reluctance, citing the possibility of the bishops being subpoenaed for their own foibles and that this fear may keep them from doing the right thing. If you take the first bribe, you may as well take the rest. And very often an appointment to a chancery position that is a stairway to, a, say, a, a seat of a bishop, that appointment can often have a cost. For the past 45 years, the bishop's reluctance to enforce Canon 915 has allowed grave scandal and contributed to the culture of death. Countless souls are still waiting for the American bishops to do the right thing. Paul, the really weird thing, well, many weird things mm. with this, but one of them is, and we'll get into the actual letter and what we know about it and all that in a little bit, but this constant call for dialogue. Mm -hmm. Is there a Catholic politician mm. who does not know that the church says you can't receive Holy Communion if you support murdering children? They certainly know it, you would think, on the surface level. I think uh, perhaps the dialogue is meant to go deeper than that and say, this is really what's happening to your soul when you do this. And, uh, and if you don't believe this, maybe you shouldn't call yourself Catholic. That would be a nice start. Yeah. <laughs> now, the thing that's interesting about this is the dialogue has been going on all the way back to Ted mm -hmm. Kennedy and the, and the Hyannis compound meeting they had back in the 60s. Yeah. This is, this is nothing new. It's like, well, how much dialogue? You just dialogue something to death? Yeah, I mean, it's, they dialogue themselves into rationalizing. You know, that's, that's what can happen with dialogue. You can rationalize yourself away from the truth to feel comfortable about your position. Yeah. And I think that uh, this whole notion of, um, you know, I, I am personally opposed, but argument that so many of these politicians from Ted Kennedy onwards have been, uh, have been uh, speaking uh, on behalf of, uh, you know, they're Catholics. They can't know that it's murder and then say, I'm personally opposed to murder, but you can do it if you'd like to. Right. Especially if you're a politician who's supposed to be upholding justice. Yeah. Who's funding murder with your votes also, exactly. in, addition to, in addition to supporting other people. You're taking our money and paying for it. Uh, on, the, on the point on the letter, it's still unclear because all the various media outlets we've seen uh, are either quoting from each other or said, you know, th the letter itself has not been produced, at least not as no. of this broadcast. No. So what we're getting are reports of what Second people say the letter says, but I mean, they all certainly seem to quasi agree. Uh, y y you know, you wonder, 
the source of all of this appears to be America Magazine, which is a Jesuit magazine, which I would not put beyond fabricating right. what Rome has said. Uh, but uh, to that point, though, this is a, this is a journalism question. You know? we're, we're talking about something that is reported to be the case. We don't know it yet for certain, although it seems likely. Right. So we do have to say reportedly, and this is what we have heard from these, these sources, um, who, like you say, America says that they actually saw the letter. Mm -hmm. So we are trusting that. Uh, perhaps we shouldn't all that much. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is what we have heard so far, and once we get more information, once we see the letter ourselves and read it ourselves, if anything contradicts this, we'll certainly, we'll certainly let people know. But, um, I don't know, it's, it's nothing that you would be shocked about hearing. <laughs> if the Vatican did right. say this, if they did say we need more dialogue, and if they did say, uh, you know, uh, let, let's hold off on a little bit, let, let's not be hasty on, on, on calling out Catholic politicians, would anybody be shocked? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, the one thing you hope is that there is some part of the letter yeah. that America Magazine didn't report that's, right. know, that, that goes into the horror of this child slaughter by the million, billions all over the world. Amen so, to that. Absolutely. Thank you, Paul. Although the bishops are deciding on what to do with the so-called second Catholic president being pro-abortion, Joe Biden was refused communion, Holy Communion at a church in South Carolina on the 2020 campaign trail.